Okay, nice play, Rhaegar. Um, uh, Rhaegar's new level 4 thing, yes. Feral Heart. You still have the health regen and Ghost Wolf. However, you get your mana back from fighting people. And we're going to go for that. Um, hmm. I think we still... I think we go for the totem. The big totem. It's going to be... Yeah, I think so. Oh, I can, like, reduce the Ghost Wolf cooldown. That's kind of fun. You know what? That's kind of fun. Let's go for a YOLO full trait build. Let's do it. Let's do it. I like uh, our, our Bees Bulb guy. Beals Bulb. He's got, he's, got a good, uh, he's got a good synergy going on. Good skinergy. I like our hands though, actually. He's got good position. Okay. Gotta go lanes. Yeah. I'll do that. Don't want to do it for long, mind you, but I'll do it for now. Someone needs to do it to start. I just want to de-push it a little bit. He should be okay. Yeah, he's fine. Let's see what Greyman, he could back off a little bit. Let me tank this. This is fine. I want to throw one more heal on Greyman because he's low. Uh, actually, Hanzo is low. He's probably just going to Hearthstone, though. One assumes. Heal him just in case. Got a lightning shield on the boys. Not even close. All right, it's a good play so far. I'm I'm rather tilted after the first two games today, which were just like grief beyond grief. This looks good. Charge him! Charge him! Run! I actually should have heartstone. This wave is not gettable. I should have heartstoned out and gone to camp. That was a mistake. Okay, <laughs> he's just... I don't have cleanse, we're not level 7. <laughs> oh well, unlucky I guess. Uh, I guess we take cleanse. It does make a lot of sense against a taunt variant. Who's dying? Uh, he's not actually dead though, that's good. Don't want to go too deep here. Okay, heal on the boy. I, I 
hit the wrong one. Nice shot. Very nice. But you're going in. Not going in. We need to clear bot. Or mid. We need to clear below us, I should say. Okay, I am close at least to getting my wolf back, which is good. Or not my wolf, my uh, fountain back. Lily putting on some pressure. Three, two. One, so long as Greymane doesn't die, he didn't, but we're basically out of the fight for another chunk of time then. We'll help him clear this out. Nice and quick. Alright, cool. Again, every time we bite a hero... That's not good. Ah, that Lee Ming Orb was well positioned. Still, that was a 4v5. So that actually went... Oh, he might be... Ooh, that was very close. That actually went okay. That went okay. Uh, and you can see that with the soaking, we are pulling ahead in levels. I think we should be able to get 10. There's still the mid-wave to get XP off of as well. Nice delays here by Hanzo. They will go through, but that's really good for him to delay. That's actually played pretty well. There's the 10, and now we can move in. I'm going to take Ancestral. <clears throat> And we take it back, and now we have one entire level to make this work with. Butcher may get this kill. I think it's very possible. He didn't. So we hope they don't gank him. Butcher got one. He's probably gonna die, but it's worth it. They're so far away, they're not gonna get back. Uh... Oh, Butcher killed Greymane up there. Uh, I mean, Greymane killed Leoric up there. Well played, team. Oh my god. It's like all the skill that our teammates should have had in the last game is translated into this game. It just transferred magically. It's bizarre. It's bizarre. Good work by enemy team to take their camp. That's smart. Sorry, Butcher. It's worth more to push it. Because now Butcher can go bot lane, which is really nice. Man, that extra... That is bad. Set that bullish. Shit, I missed that glow. That's bad. Silly mistake. Running top. Close. Very close to a kill. Port goes down at least. Port went down bot lane too. This is going very smoothly. There's not much to uh, going wrong here. Boss is a possibility. He hasn't spawned yet. Li Ming is bot. It's possible. Look out, Earth Shield. Lightning Shield gets a, sh gets a shield. I think boss is probably risky. I don't know if it's a good idea. We're going for it. But you're still mid, so. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, they're all mid. We're good. Never mind. I feel like the enemy team should have known this is a possibility and should have been more prepared to deal with it. I think they were too scared. But yeah, I get like we do have 13. I still think that's a fight that you probably want to take because now you can get double bossed. Well, but you clear this. You've got a friend in me, Butcher. You've got a friend in me. Butcher. Power. 
So, again, now they definitely know we're doing this, but they can't do anything because they defended the other boss. I guess both bosses actually aren't hitting anything that valuable. Like, that boss didn't actually do much, right? Throw out some heals for the boys. Enemy team may be doing cap. That's a big mistake by them. It's a big mistake. Let the dragon consume you. Sorry, Anza. I genuinely didn't want to hit you with that. I promise. I swear. Heal them up. Not the best thing to charge in the world. Alright, this is a really aggressive push in by us. We're gonna go Hunger of the Wolf this game. Because I'm a baller. So our basic, our wolf attacks will steal 5% max HP from the target. Pretty cool, right? Pretty damn cool. Our DPS is insane. Yeah, our, like, the team is playing their fucking minds out here. Like, I'm not even kidding. This is all of those skill from our deep, from what should have been on the DPS players and their DPS choices in the previous game has been translated into this one. Omega Lul. This is maybe a bit scary with the Dior poke. Not a big fan of that hit. Just win the game. Oh, we didn't get the camp. Yeah, I hate to see it. I need to chow, chow down on some stuff as a wolf. I no mana. You only get seven mana for for attacking wolf against a, a neutral objective. That's kind of a bummer. I think it's actually literally worth it to do that for the healing, the raw healing right now. And we do push top lane, I think for sure. It's a March Leoric, so he doesn't have any threat here on me. I just need to stick with Garrosh, make sure he's fine. Butcher's obviously got the right idea. Okay, well, he overstayed. Did not account for the pyro. Their keeps are dead and their core is uh, in trouble as well. That should be game right now. We just pick up the objectives. Cool. Noise, noise, noise. <laughs> that guy only had 400 Hanzo games. He still took the bad ult. Yeah, uh, he's, pla he's placing it properly at least. And okay, he's gone for a weird build. This, um, I wouldn't really recommend it. It does have synergy with itself. Like this Hanzo build. He's gonna spam out like a whole bunch of W's and basic attacks and he's gonna spam like literally the W's with the level 20 Dragon Strike upgrade give it a massive cooldown. Uh, that's really good play by Greymane actually to notice this. I'm actually tanking it for him, that's good. <laughs> I didn't want to be stunned there, but it was actually good we took aggro. We cannot allow them to remain in enemy We could just run to the other boss. Do the other boss maybe? Like, the other boss we get 20 and go for. 
In both situations, we have... 20, we've got core. I'm coming. I'm not too scared here. Pretty good pick there. I think it does make more sense to take the other boss and go core because it's like if they come fight us at the other boss then the first boss is probably too strong <laughs> don't be so pussy um, I don't know man I think we like the other boss made full sense as well I'm like I think you know in situation one you're pushing core with a boss at level 19 in top lane in situation two you're pushing Core with a boss at level 20 in bot lane. It's essentially the exact same situation, except a bit better for you, right? So, I think it's totally fine. Either way. Um, yeah. 